Hello! How y'all doing? If you're still subscribed to this channel in 2024, you're probably shocked to see a new video, aren't you? It's actually the end of January 1st, 2024, and here I am, Dark Side Phil, making a video on KO Gaming. But what you might notice is that this channel isn't KO Gaming anymore because, ladies and gentlemen, after having this channel defunct for five and a half years, completely unused and just sitting here, finally, I am going to use it for something completely different, a new project that I'm calling DSP Throwback. Allow this video to be the explanation of what this is going to be. I have now been a content creator on the internet for 15 years and climbing. And in that 15 years, I have changed and evolved many different times from being someone who just had a camera pointed at a TV, doing this improv, very irreverent, very immature commentary over gameplay, basically trying to appeal to a very younger audience on YouTube like teenagers, uh, and turning that into something that was a full-time job, which was never, ever intended, right? Then, eventually d adopting direct capture and live streaming, first kind of ignoring the live streaming audience, and then deciding to actually work on this very channel called KO Gaming when it was first in, uh, conceived in 2016, splitting my time between live raw gameplay streams and highly edited content, which you will find in the archives of this channel, game reviews, countdowns, and the like. I mean, this channel had a video that had over a million views. That was pretty darn good for a brand new channel in 2016. But then things changed. Number one, YouTube demonetized this channel on me for literally no good reason and I wasn't able to make any profits on it. Number two, the adpocalypse happened on YouTube. In 2017, essentially it was impossible to make a living on YouTube just on ad revenue alone. So many content creators had to then either seek out sponsorships, partnerships, paid promotions. You may have noticed a lot of people on YouTube changed completely in 2017. Well, I didn't wanna do that. So what I did is instead of completely changing who I was, I became more interactive and I became a full-time streamer and that's actually where I've been since 2017. I've been full-time streaming. First it was on Twitch, and now it's been on YouTube over on my channel, DSP Gaming, ever since, uh, you know, like 2021. I've been over there full-time all day, every day, six days a week, all these streams. And I've actually diversified my content as well. I do a podcast every single morning called the Level 1 Podcast. I stream two different gameplay streams a day. I have a React channel now called DSP Reacts. You might be able to see that in the related channels below. Uh, where once a week I do a big react show to clips that members submit and we do all kinds of fun stuff over there. So I have changed a lot in my time on YouTube. And this channel is just sitting here not being used. If you're one of the 20,000 people who at this moment are still subscribed to the channel, thanks for sticking in there. You didn't have to, but I appreciate you still leaving this in your sub feed. So now you might be saying, what on earth is going on? Phil's uploading to this channel again? Yes, but it's not the content that I used to do. This channel is now going to be called DSP Throwback, and this channel's primary focus is going to be lost media. Back in the day, when I used to have that camera pointed at a TV, I uploaded insane amounts of gameplay to my old channels, Dark Side Phil and DSP Gaming. But in addition to that, there were other playthroughs that I was afraid to upload to those channels because there were certain game developers that, eh, you would be a little worried that maybe they would hit you with a copyright strike. This was way before the era of being even able to monetize gameplay videos on YouTube. And so there were particular playthroughs such as Red Dead Redemption and its DLC, Undead Nightmare, and some online sessions that I did with friends called Suicide Kings. There was also the L.A. Noir playthrough from Rockstar that originally I played, and also my classic Final Fantasy XIII playthrough. Those games were played on separate YouTube channels from my main ones, just in case any copyright issues arose. Well, the problem is, there were no copyright issues, but the channels got hacked, and they were shut down because the hackers started broadcasting illegal sports on those channels. I had no way to regain the control, and YouTube closed them. So I've had these legacy playthroughs from 10 to 13 years ago. In fact, I think the Final Fantasy 14 or 13 one is like 14 years old now. Uh, these playthroughs have just sat around completely unwatchable. And it was last year I went into my closet, dug into my hard drive archives because I actually used to save all my old videos on hard drives. And I found a tremendous amount of lost media. Not only those playthroughs I just mentioned, but unknown playthroughs like... Kung Fu Panda and Dante's Inferno. I never finished them, but they're a legacy content from over a decade ago that people might be interested in watching. I found a ton 
of vlogging stuff that used to be on my old vlogging channel that's now impossible to watch. So all this lost media has been sitting around and for years people have been asking me, will you ever re-upload it? Now is the time. But I don't want you to worry. If you're a subscriber of this channel and you're like, oh man, I had this subscribed for five and a half years and now Phil's gonna flood my inbox with videos. That's very much not the case because here's the deal. Even though those playthroughs back in the day were incredibly lengthy in a million parts, they were all like 10 minute long parts. So like, for example, that Final Fantasy 13 playthrough was like 200 parts on YouTube. I'm not gonna do that to you. What I've actually done is enlisted the help of some people who are going to make these playthroughs more modernized. For example, I want to re-upload Final Fantasy 13 here, but I want to make it longer parts. So imagine combining the first three or four parts of that playthrough into one video, running it through an editor with all kinds of tweaks, making it a little bit less fuzzy, making it a little bit more high definition than that old 720p camera used to be. In addition, maybe enhancing the audio and things like that. Still the same gameplay, still the same commentary, but the videos will be longer, look better, and have thumbnails so you can easily find where you were in a playthrough and stuff like that. That would be awesome, no? Completely kind of giving a whole remaster upgrade to my classic Lost Media playthroughs. And so that is going to be the primary purpose of this channel and I'm gonna begin work on that starting tonight. In fact, I think I'm gonna start uploading videos and things and getting people to start working on them very soon and we're gonna see how that goes, okay? Now, in addition to that, two other ideas I have for this channel. The first is that I would like to occasionally go on this channel and just do like a one-off chill night stream with some viewers. And what I would do is talk about the old days of being a YouTuber, you know, field questions about what was it like back then 15 years ago? What were the differences of YouTube back then versus now? <clears throat> what was it like having comments and what was it like interacting with people, right? Uh, what, you know, before live streaming, was it hard to keep in contact? What about how YouTube channels were? They were very different back then. And the whole attitude of people on YouTube was completely different. It was like a different site, honestly. So every once in a while to actually go back and reminisce about the past could be pretty neat and something neat for this throwback channel. But in addition to that, another idea I have is that once we actually have these legacy lost media playthroughs on this channel, perhaps I could sometimes come here and do a stream where I will react to my old playthroughs. DSP of the current day versus DSP 15 years ago, watching and commentating and probably cringing at a lot of that commentary from back in the day. You know, I was a very different guy back then, and so was YouTube. A lot of things flew and were allowed that today you watch like, oh my God, that's cancelable material. Well, you know, things back then were very different, and I think it would be neat to see how things have changed and to get my take on that stuff in the present day and to kind of collectively laugh and cringe at how I used to be when I was making content for that much younger teen audience, right? So, that's my ideas for this channel. I hope that sounds good to you. Perhaps there's even more ideas that you guys could have for things that I could do with this DSP throwback channel. I think that there's a lot of potential for a completely unused channel here. And I'd like to hear your thoughts. So number one, if you're watching this video, thanks for watching this long. Basically, here's the deal. I need to start using this channel again because it lost its partnership status a few years ago. YouTube changed the criteria of how a channel can be partnered. Basically, you have to upload three videos within a certain time period, and you also have to get a certain amount of watch hours. Well, I haven't put a video on this channel for five and a half years. No one's watching it. Obviously, it's defunct. So if you're still subscribed, thank you. But I'm forewarning you. There will be new content on this channel soon, and if you're not interested in the throwback content, this might be a time you would want to unsubscribe. But if you're interested in the content, it might be time to hit that notification button again because there's gonna be cool new stuff showing up probably within the next few weeks, and I'm curious to get your thoughts on it. Now, once we start getting regular viewers and we start getting new videos uploaded regularly, I'll probably be able to repartner this channel, and you're gonna see ads on it again. I don't currently have plans to do anything with memberships or anything like that, maybe in the future, but for now, I just want this to be a place to watch my old content in a better format and to basically talk about it. So I hope you like that idea. Leave some comments on this video and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this new take for my old content here on DSP Throwback. And you'll notice there's a new banner, there's a new watermark and logo. It's all in process. This could definitely be improved in time. This is not all set in stone. So I hope that you'll bear with it. It's kind of rough going as we just tried to get things kind of spruced up. It's been five and a half years. There's cobwebs everywhere, right? But uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're interested. 
Is there anything else you'd like to see on a channel like this? I'm all ears, all right? And I want to say thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching for so long. You might be someone who only watched this channel six years ago. You're like, oh, man, what is this? Well, you might be interested. I don't know. Uh, and, of course, you can always check out my other channels. DSP Gaming is the channel where every single day I'm live streaming a podcast and tons of gameplay. DSP Reacts is the channel where every week I do a fun react show. Sometimes I do food vlogs. Sometimes we do tier maker videos and countdowns and fun stuff there. Give it all a look. And thank you so much for being a viewer and fan for so long. 15 years and counting and keeping it going. So, I hope this explains the idea between or the idea behind DSP Throwback. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon for new content right here on the new channel. Peace out, everyone. And I'll see you then.